Dr. Nyame, can you comment on the uh, recommended age of first PSA screening and then the subsequent screenings, the frequency of subse subsequent screenings? Yeah, so um, there are a lot of different guidelines out there, unfortunately, that don't all agree. The most current ones from the American Neurologic Association and the American Cancer Society uh, have are rooted in, in uh, the best available evidence and both recommend that high-risk populations, which include, include people of African ancestry, um, individuals who have strong family histories of prostate cancer. So strong usually means um, first degree relative, you know, grandfather, father, brother. Um, and, and it's important to remember that there's crossover. So it's not just prostate cancer, but if breast cancer runs in the family or uh, colon cancer runs in the family, you, you know, the, or cancers in general, that, that that can put you in a high risk category, that those individuals should consider screening starting at age 40. The frequency is debatable. We have a, a study that says that every year for a really high risk population, the PSA test every year, um, the guidelines will say every two years at the most, um, and then it's important to stop screening around age 69, 70, um, especially if your PSA numbers have been really stable, because we can't over-detect cancers, meaning finding cancers that aren't uh, going to affect your natural life. And that, uh, that risk goes up uh, if we continue to test unnecessarily into the, um, as men age. And so somewhere in the early to mid-70s, uh, you definitely want to stop uh, testing. The most important thing is what is an abnormal PSA, right? And that varies by your age. So if you have a PSA of one when you're 40, that's that's alarming. And that would prompt me to say, hey, let's test every year. And if it gets above two and a half in the next, you know, you know, five to 10 years, we're going to do a biopsy. If you had a PSA of one at age 70, that'd be a low PSA for your age. And so, you know, we use these numbers, uh, three or four, uh, but it's a spectrum. Uh, what I would say is don't let your PSA get, uh, you know, above 10 before you do something, uh, regardless of your age. So if you see a pattern of increase, certainly as you're getting above three, four, five, and especially if you're a younger person, you definitely want to make sure you get connected to a urologist. Mm -hmm.